What's up guys, Gary here with self -taught Dev. Today we're gonna go over how to automatically update your GitHub profile with data from an RSS feed. So maybe you've got a blog and every time you add a new blog post to it, you want your GitHub profile to reflect those changes. In my case, I've got this set up for my YouTube channel. So anytime I make a new YouTube video, it will automatically get added here. So how do we set this up? Let's get to it. First off, this is using, uh, I'm gonna butcher his name, Gautam Krishnar's blog post workflow behind the scenes. So you won't have to touch this, but this is just what it's using behind the scenes. I'll have a link to this repo in the description. To get it set up, we are gonna need, I'm gonna assume you already have a readme.md set up. If you don't have that set up, pause this, go figure out how to do that, come back. But we'll need a .github slash workflows. And this is where, we're, where we are going to store the workflows slash actions that we need to run. So we'll click on add new file, create new file. We'll name this .github slash workflows slash the file can be named whatever you want. For mine, it was update youtube.yml. Make sure you have that .yaml extension because it is going to be a .yaml file. Now I have a GIS that I'm going to link in the description if you want to just open that up and copy and paste this in, but it's going to have the name of the action. So this is what's actually gonna be displayed when you run the action in here. We're gonna have the schedule, which by default, or by default, if you copy mine, it's going to run every hour. The workflow dispatch allows you to manually dispatch this task. And then we get down to the actual job. So this is going to update the readme with my YouTube videos. In your case, you could change this to blog. Make sure you have an appropriate name here. The steps it's going to use the blog post workflow from that repo we talked about in the beginning. And then we get to the comment tag name. Now this is basically going to be the hook that we put into our readme and it will insert the blog post or YouTube videos right after that hook. We'll get into that in a sec. Just make sure you remember what we put here. So I would probably just copy that. And then next we need the feed list. So this is just an RSS feed of the data you wanna add. So for me, I'm using the RSS feed for my YouTube channel. It's just gonna grab the, mo the five most recent titles and links to those videos and put them in my, uh, my readme. That's the YAML file we need to have set up. Make sure you commit that. I'm not gonna do that because I've already got this part set up, so I'm just gonna discard that. Again, I'll have a link to this uh, GIST in the description if you wanna just copy and paste that, make it easy. So once we got that set up, we need to add the hook to our readme file. So we'll open up our readme. We will edit this file and we'll go down to where we want this to be inserted. So I will go ahead and clear out the current YouTube videos and this is basically the hook point that it's going to add the posts to. So I'll have this comment in the description of the video as well if you wanna just copy and paste that. But this needs to be whatever we had for the comment tag name in the YAML file. So YouTube video list, if we go back to our workflows here, that's what we have for comment tag name, YouTube video list. You just need to add a semicolon start and then a semicolon end to close it. And then it will stick the blog posts or YouTube videos right in here. So we're going to commit that. I'm just going to say chore uh, updated readme.md for this test. Cool, so my YouTube videos are no longer showing up. Now we could wait an hour and then this would run on its own, but we don't wanna do that. We want to manually run this. So we'll go into actions. As you can see, this has been running for me here. Uh, we will go to our action over here, latest YouTube videos or whatever you change the name to. Again, this is whatever we have as the name of the action up here. And then once we're here, we can click on run workflow. You can choose what branch you wanna run it on. I'm just gonna run it on main. And then it will request that. If we refresh, we can see that it is running here. So it's queued, we'll give it a sec. And then we can see that it has a green check mark, so it successfully ran and finished. Now, if we go back to here, we can see that it updated with the most recent blog posts or YouTube videos in my case. So that is how you would use the blog post workflow. Again, all of this linked, this repo linked in the description, there's some more advanced configuration you can get into in here. Uh, if you don't know the URL for your blog, uh, some of the more popular sources like WordPress or Dev2 or Medium, are in here. So if you have a WordPress site, it's just 
just going to be your WordPress site slash feed. If you have a medium, it's going to be medium.com slash feed slash your username. And then these should just bring up an RSS feed similar to this. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If this helped you out, give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm doing good stuff. If you want to come hang out in the Discord, talk tech with me and other devs, link to that is in the description as well as a link to the self-taught dev subreddit. It's in the top 20% of all biggest subreddits. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for this one. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. One.